Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. It is Saturday the 9th of April <laughs> and I'm going to Norwich today because I'm going to go and pick up the keys to my new house. So as you can see behind me, uh, my bookshelves are empty. I've got, you can't really see because my chair's in the way, but yeah, I've got shit stacked everywhere. I'll give you a little tour in a minute of just what I'm living in at the moment. But yes, today we're going to Norwich um we need to pick up the keys and we'll obviously get access to my new house for the first time so i'll do like a little you know unfurnished tour for you uh we need to well we've got a lot going on in the next seven days it it's a lot okay like a lot <laughs> but it's gonna be fine so just try not to stress about it but yeah we're going up stage going to collect the keys we're not going to bring any of the boxes because my dad needs those to you know, put in the van when we move the furniture so that things don't move around. But we are gonna take, like, I've got a whole load of, like, miscellaneous crap, like, these boxes, these basket things here. Um, I've got, like, these bins. I've got my uh, Star Wars guitar, which is just to the right of me here. Uh, I've got, like, my uh, photography background, a small ironing board, <laughs> um, the big antlers that I used for my FMP last year. All sorts of random stuff that doesn't fit in boxes that we need to take up as well as like shoes and coats and stuff that we're not going to be able to put in the van but it's just kind of in the way at the moment. So we're going to be taking all of that stuff up. Just as much of it will fit in the car basically, that's what we're taking up today. And then yeah, we've got to obviously pick up the keys. We've got an appointment at, I think either 12 or 12.30 to go to the office to pick up the keys um and then we'll obviously go to the house we've got i'm bringing the flea powder with me that i used because if you cast your eye back about a year uh you remember that when i moved into this house it was a bit of a shithole <laughs> uh took three months for the shower to work and i had to flea the carpet even though the landlady was adamant that i wasn't allowed pets and fleas are a pet thing but hey oh and also i still to this day get posts from pets at home for danny um, I still get Danny's post as well, by the way. I haven't got anything for Winifred in a while, but Danny, still definitely get Danny's post. So that's interesting. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this house that I'm moving into is way newer. They've just redone the whole thing. They've put down new carpets and everything. So like, I don't think there's going to be any fleas or anything. In fact, I know there's not going to be. But after the last time, we're just going to flee the carpet just in case because... I mean, it's not gonna do any harm, so we may as well. And things like eggs and stuff, you know, like if they're there, just changing the carpets probably isn't gonna fix it. So we're gonna do it just in case. Um, and I've got flea powder left over, so why not? You know, may as well use it. And then, cause you have to leave the flea powder. So while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go to uh, Pets at Home and we're gonna get some pet stuff because of course I'm getting a cat and it's like, I haven't been talking about it very much and I haven't allowed myself to look or anything because, you know, it's still like weeks away and I don't want to look at cats or anything because I don't want to get attached and then they're like gone or something. But yes, I'm getting a cat in a few weeks. Obviously, we need to wait until I'm there and I'm, you know, I'm not just living surrounded by boxes <laughs> um, and I've got to come back to where I am currently for a doctor's appointment on the 6th of May. So, but after the 6th of May, that's when we're going to seriously you know, look and inquire about a cat. Uh, and they said it takes about one to two weeks to get it sorted. So like by June, I'm gonna have a cat. So we're gonna go to Pets at Home and the range and get some pet stuff because I just can't wait. And also it's just the most convenient time to do it. Even though it's a bit early with all of the stuff we've got going on, it's the most convenient time. Um, and then, you know, we'll come back, we'll hoover, sort out the rest of the stuff, move the stuff from the car into the house and then make our way home. So. Yeah, that's what's going on today. We've got a long day. It's definitely going to be a long day. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get home quite late because obviously we've got stuff to do while we're there. So we're not going to be back on the road till like four, maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's going to be a long day. But I'm very excited to go pick up the keys and show you all where I'm going to be living for the next like three to four years. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited. But before we go, let me just show you my house currently because it's it's in quite a state. So we have my desk as normal. Obviously the PC will be pretty much the last thing 
uh, we pack up because I need that to the last moment. Uh, I've got this lovely stack of boxes over here that is just growing taller and taller. We've also got this wall, which is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I took all the stuff off it and I still need to take the blue tag off. Um, but I just haven't got around to doing that yet. So yeah, my wall looks like this for now, which is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, my bookshelves are completely empty, which is, is kind of sad. And it's also kind of funny because I've still got a week left in this house and like... It looks like this but you know whatever i've got yet more boxes here these are all books and these are all books as well <laughs> uh this is some of the stuff i'm going to be taking over today as well as this stuff down here just like random stuff that doesn't really fit anywhere else uh, i've still got boxes here because i still need to pack up the kitchen uh because obviously i like i need to eat <laughs> so the kitchen is going to be the last thing i do uh this stuff i'm bringing this stuff today i've got some clothes rails we're bringing this big picture we're also, I've emptied my shoe rack and I think we're going to take most of the coats over as well today. And then in the kitchen, we have this stack of boxes, <laughs> which is just getting taller and taller by the day. Uh, I mean, I've pretty much run out of space on this side because we've hit the ceiling. So, you know, we've still got a bit of space here. Um, not sure if I can lift a box that high, but I'll try. <laughs> and then we've got the kitchen, which, you know, I mean, this side of the kitchen... It's, you know, still just a kitchen, right? Still mostly in use. But then we've got these boxes over here. <laughs> uh, with like more random crap we're gonna take today. So my ukulele and uh, this stuff, these are the antlers. And also I bought a cat bed the other day because we went to HomeSense <laughs> and I just couldn't help myself. Um, so yeah, here's a bed for the new cat that I haven't quite got yet, but I'm very excited about. And I've got like dishwasher stuff, so. <laughs> You know, like, yeah, it, it's a work in progress. So yeah, that's currently what I'm living in, which is pretty funny. I still need to take these things off the bookshelf. Although last time we didn't, my dad just moved it with the stuff on, but I think I'll probably take them off this time since we're moving long distance. Um, and yeah, upstairs is pretty much in the same state, but I'm not gonna walk upstairs just to show you that. <laughs> um, it's pretty much all, um, all of my clothes are in suitcases and I've also put all of my, uh, many many cushions and stuffed animals and stuff in bin bags so my entire wardrobe is just stuffed full of bin bags so that's interesting but yeah that's that's what i'm living with right now <laughs> so it is currently 7 a.m i've been up since five uh, i set my alarm for six but i woke up at five and i was like eh whatever i guess i'll get up <laughs> so yeah i'm up uh, my mum's going to be here at 8 and then we're going to have half an hour to pack the car so we can leave by 8.30 and then be there for 12 or 12.30, whatever the uh, appointment time is to pick up the keys. So yeah, that's the plan. I still have a few things that I need to run around and collect uh, that I need to bring today. So I'm going to do that and then I will see you when we get on the road. We're at the new house, we're just parking the car, my mum's doing that now, and then we're going to go in. We need to take inventory and stuff. Uh, my mum's going to have a drink and I'm going to give you a unfurnished house tour. Oh my god, I can't wait to show you it. We are in the new house, uh, mum's in the kitchen, so I thought I'd give you a, it's really echoey, I thought I'd give you a really quick like unfurnished tour because it's the last time you're going to see it without any stuff in it. So we have the front door here and we have this just little 
Alco bit, I'm probably gonna put like uh, my shoes and stuff down here. And then we come through into the big kind of main room, living room, although it's not gonna, really gonna be a living room, but you know what I mean. <laughs> big window, and then the kitchen is through here, which is where my mum is. So say hello to mum. <laughs> we've got these cabinets and stuff. We've also got a big fridge freezer, which is nice. Uh, I don't have to bend down anymore. We've got a new oven and also a new washing machine. And yeah, it's, it's just the kitchen really. <laughs> You then come back through, and this place has two bedrooms, which is amazing. We've got a little cupboard here, which is just a cupboard, you know, probably put some crap in there. We've got bedroom number one, uh, brand new carpets, by the way, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, we've also got proper radiators this time. Um, so I think this room is going to be my studio room. Uh, I think I'm going to put the like big paper roll on this wall, or maybe that wall. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> And then we have this hallway here, which probably not going to do much with. We've got a tiny little cupboard, uh, which is, yeah, it's just a cupboard. The bathroom is through here. I think there's ten for two bathrooms. It's a fairly kind of, you know, long and slim bathroom. Um, and the sink is down here. Um, and yeah, the shower works this time, which is nice. Um, and then this is the bedroom that's going to be kind of my main, you know, my actual bedroom. Uh, again, just a big open room with nice new carpets. Uh, and we do have a little ensuite in here, uh, which does also have another shower. Probably won't use the shower very much because it's smaller, I'll probably use the other one. Um, but you know, it's nice to have a second bathroom, you know? So yeah, that is the house as it stands at the moment. Uh, we are just gonna chill for a minute um, and then we're gonna, you know, take inventory and do meter readings and everything uh, before we go back out to the range and pets at home to get a few things. It is Friday. And it is moving day tomorrow. Don't remember when the last time I filmed was. Was it Tuesday? I, um, no, I have a feeling it was Saturday, actually. Uh, was it? I know I definitely filmed when we went to pick up the keys. But then we also went back to Norwich on Tuesday to just take some stuff over and kind of set up a few things in the kitchen and stuff. So that I'm just, you know, set for when I get there. But I'm not sure if I filmed that because, I mean, the thing is, I've been to Norwich like 12 times in the last few weeks. So they all kind of blur together. So I don't remember what the last thing I filmed was. But it's Friday, nevertheless. And the piles of boxes just keep growing. Uh, you can also see my computer screen is very misplaced here. Uh, and that is because everything in my house is pretty much completely packed up. Minus you know, the few things I need to sleep tonight. Um, so, you know, I've still got like my toothbrush out for the morning, um, my pillows to sleep on, uh, my phone, and that's pretty much it, honestly. Everything is packed up. I'm gonna give you a little packed up house tour very quickly. Um, it's only half past six, so I'm gonna say before I go to bed, but I mean, well, let's be honest, I'm gonna go and lie in bed. <laughs> I just won't go to sleep for another couple of hours. Um, so yeah, you really haven't missed much this week, trust me, it's just been packing boxes <laughs> and then sitting down in between because my back hurts and my feet hurt and everything hurts and my body's really not very happy with me, but at the same time I don't really have time to think about that, so it's just gonna have to deal with it until I'm actually in Norwich and settled and then I'll rest because I haven't got time for that right now. <laughs> But yeah, everything is packed up. My parents are going to be here at 7am tomorrow morning, so I've set my alarm for 5, um, which is probably a tad excessive, but at the same time, you know, I could get up, I could just roll out of bed at 6.30, put some clothes on, you know, like fold up my blanket, put it in the suitcase and put my shoes on and I'd be ready, which is going to take like, what, 5 minutes? But at the same time, I don't like to feel rushed. <laughs> so I'm going to get up, up at 5 so that I have 2 hours to do a five minute task. I do also need to empty out the fridge though because yeah I mean there's not really much in the fridge there's like three things <laughs> um but yeah I do need to just sort that out which obviously I can't do today because otherwise it'll all go off overnight so yeah I need to wait until tomorrow we've got a few cool bags to put things in just to transport them out to Norwich for a couple of hours and yeah and then I'm I'm moving to Norwich <laughs> tomorrow morning which is very surreal. It hasn't really sunk in yet. I'm just, I'm absolutely exhausted, both physically and mentally. We have been going to Norwich like two or three times a week. 
it for like over a month at this point with both looking for houses and then going to get the keys and like throwing stuff over there i've been packing for weeks which has destroyed my body i i mean like more than it was already destroyed and you know i'm s f fucking sick of other people um if even so much as one person even looks at me tomorrow i think i'll probably just cry <laughs> um I, I am so tired but you know I'm like I'm like past the point of tired to the point of indifference where it's just like this is fine everything's great I have no emotions because I don't, I don't have time for emotions so I'm sure once I'm there and I'm settled and I've had some time to you know rest it'll sink in but for now I'm just a little bit dead inside but yeah, before I go upstairs and scroll through my phone for a few hours before I go to sleep, I wanted to give you a little packed up house tour because, yeah, everything's packed up. <laughs> so, as you can see, my computer is all packed up in boxes. We have the landlord's original ugly ass curtains back up because mine are packed. Uh, we have the good old box tower, which has been here for a while. Uh, also this wall, <laughs> which is absolutely hilarious. I don't know if I've showed you this yet, but yeah, I had a whole load of posters on the wall uh, with blue tack. And for some reason, this wall, whatever they painted with was terrible. Uh, because, you know, usually, have I got some blue tack? Yeah, I have. So like, if I stick blue tack on like this bookshelf, right? You put it on, and then it just it just comes off right except that's not what it's done with the paint which is weird because i always paint i always put blue tack on my walls back at my parents house and it just peeled off like the bookshelves but i think they've either used a different kind of paint or they haven't finished it properly so it's like it's like pulling off the uh, like dried paint with it it's really weird but whatever they did they did it badly <laughs> Um, and thus, I've kind of just left this for my parents to deal with, if I'm being completely honest, because I am all out of fucks to give. <laughs> so, this is their problem. So, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, obviously my bookshelves are all empty as usual. We've got the boxes that have been here for a while. More boxes. Those are uh, essential boxes. They've got, like, the microwave and uh, this entire box here. Uh, this was meds. All of meds like the entire box is full of drugs <laughs> um just in case you're wondering how many drugs i take on a daily basis uh so that's brilliant uh we've almost completely deplenished our stack of boxes this good old stack of boxes is still here <laughs> uh this one is growing though um a lot of these are also very fragile i put fragile tape over it because i mean honestly the hardest part about tomorrow is going to be having to trust my dad to you know, pack the fragile stuff because I'm not sure I really do, but that's just because I'm very particular about my stuff. But yeah, the kitchen's empty apart from <laughs> my chocolate stash for tomorrow. And that jar that I've been, uh, this <laughs> it's like a caramel syrup bottle. Uh, I finished this like a month after I moved into this place and I have never gotten around to throwing it out. So it's going to stay here uh, until my parents get back to tidy up the house and then they'll throw it out. Great. <laughs> uh, the only thing I still have out is the printer uh, because I'm going to get my dad to pack that because I don't trust myself to lift it and put it in the heavy box, which is what that box over there is for. Uh, we've got all the rubbish, which has accumulated quite a lot. Um, and then, yeah, the upstairs is pretty much exactly the same as well. So, yeah, that's what my house is looking like at the moment. <laughs> the bathroom is also completely empty. Well, apart from all the dust on the floor, but again, that's a problem for my parents to sort out when they come back to clean the place. So I'm just going to ignore it for now because I have not got time for that. So yeah, I am going to go upstairs. Um, I've still got a handful of things that I've just like chucked on the stairs that I need to take upstairs. Uh, that need to go in my essentials like overnight suitcase. Because uh, my mum and I have booked a hotel for tomorrow night, which is... It's very annoying that we had to move this weekend because it's the bank holiday weekend or Easter weekend. Um which is i mean i don't really care about easter personally we're not christian we don't celebrate easter really i mean we do chocolate eggs and that's about as far as it goes really um and so it doesn't really matter from that point of view but it's annoying from the point of view that everyone else does you know bank holiday stuff and they want to go on holiday and stuff and obviously some people celebrate easter um 
but it also means that the hotel is more expensive and of course the roads are going to be more busy it doesn't really matter about the roads because i mean it like it doesn't matter if it takes an extra half an hour to get there no one's gonna die so it's fine <laughs> uh but it doesn't mean that the hotel was like twice as expensive as it would have been but yeah we're staying in a hotel which is annoying but we had to move over the weekend because of my dad's work schedule he can't do mid next week so we're moving now <laughs> typically though um you know it's always it's just kind of a thing whenever there's a bank holiday it chucks it down with rain right that's how it always is but not this bank holiday no no the one bank holiday that we're actually going to be doing something it decides to be incredibly hot and sunny which i'm sure most people would be like oh but that's a good thing sam no 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 maybe it is for you um if it is i fine whatever i don't like you but fine <laughs> uh, i hate the sun i hate the heat it makes me miserable i overheat incredibly quickly it makes me very lightheaded and it just all in all ruins my life and obviously it decided this weekend to be like mid-20s um when it's been like like it was literally minus one last week and now it's it was 22 degrees today like i <sighs> So yeah, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna be moving in twenty, like mid twenties heat over the bank holiday weekend. But you know, other than being incredibly stressed and even more incredibly tired, everything's fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure I'll be more uh, eloquent once it's sunk in and once I'm actually in Norwich and have had time to sleep <laughs> for a while. But for now. I'm gonna go upstairs and watch a movie or just scroll through Instagram if I'm being completely honest and I will see you bright and early tomorrow to move. <laughs> it is moving day. I wish I could sound more excited. Uh, however, it's 20 past 6 in the morning. I've been up since 4. Set my alarm for 5 but then I woke up an hour before for no good reason but hey. Uh, and yeah, I'm all packed, but I just, I'm so tired. <laughs> I will be more excitable in a few days once I'm there and I'm settled and everyone else has gone home and left me the fuck alone <laughs> because I'm very sick and tired of other people. Uh, I've been seeing far too much of other people lately. I'm exhausted both mentally and physically. I just like, I've been up and down stairs like 15 times this morning, ferrying stuff downstairs. Uh, you can see all of my essential stuff over there. And yeah, I'm, I'm very exhausted <laughs> with all of the, you know, I've been going to Norwich like two or three times a week for like over a month. Um, too many people, too many trips. My body's not happy and I'm tired. <laughs> But the show must go on, so uh, I haven't got time to be tired, so I'll be tired in a few days. And for now, we're just ignoring it because I haven't got time for that. So my parents are going to be here at 7am. Uh, we've got a van. It It's weird because technically it's Easter weekend, which is kind of annoying, but it's the only time we had to move because of my dad's work schedule. We were going to try it for middle of next week. Yeah, next week. Um, but my dad has to work, so... We're doing it over the Easter weekend, which is annoying, but never mind. Um, but yeah, weirdly enough, uh, I think because it's Easter weekend, it was actually cheaper to hire the van for four days rather than three days, which doesn't make sense. But because it's over the Easter weekend, we picked up the van yesterday. I assume it's cheaper because then they don't have to send anyone in today over the bank holiday weekend. But yeah, so they're coming over with the van. Um, my mum and I are gonna go get McDonald's for breakfast for everyone who wants it because I've packed, you know, all of my kitchen stuff. So I have, well, I have a few fit bits of food in the fridge, but nothing to cook them with unless I'm just gonna put it on the, you know, the bare racks in the oven. So yeah, we need food and then we're just gonna start packing the van. Uh, we're gonna pack my like essential stuff in first, which is over there. Uh, we're gonna put that in my mum's car. And then I'm just going to sit in the car out of the way while my parents do most of the packing. Uh, my grandparents are also coming down. Not sure when they're going to be here, though, because uh, they don't really do early. So and they're also like 45 to an hour away. So uh, and of course, it's Easter weekend, so we don't know how long it's going to take them to get here. But they will be here at some point this morning. <laughs> 
and then we'll get on the road. I mean, my mum's saying she thinks we'll be on the road by about 10. So give or take what you want, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't away until midday. So we'll, we'll wait and see. Yeah, this is the last time I'm ever going to be in this house because once I leave today, I'm not coming back. My parents will be back to uh, just tidy up and, you know, clean the house so that we can give it back and I get my deposit back. Um, but yeah, I'm never coming back here after today, which is kind of bittersweet. But at the same time, I'm a bit too tired to feel anything else right now. So <laughs> again, I'll give a more eloquent we'll have a more eloquent discussion after I'm settled in and I'm not so tired but for now I'm tired so I'm just gonna sit at my chair and scroll through Instagram until my parents get here so I'll see you when something more interesting's happened <laughs>just about unpacked <laughs> um by unpacked i mean my entire lounge is filled with boxes <laughs> uh the kitchen has my desktop on it <laughs> my pc is down here on the floor um the library is currently full of crap <laughs> we have bin bags here <laughs> which are full of pillows and blankets and such stuff. You can see over there, those are suitcases filled with my, with my clothes. A few random bits here, the treadmill, <laughs> uh, my chair, and we have the bookshelves with no actual shelves in them there on the floor. Uh, however, my bedroom is looking somewhat more put together. Uh, we, have, we have a bed, which is nice. I have unpacked the cushions, so it's, it's a win, I guess. Bedside table. Uh, TV and everything, I mean, it's not hooked up, but it's there and it's probably the most put together part of the house. And we also have my mirror in the corner. So yeah, that's where we've got. Everything is out of the van and we're pretty much unpacked. We did have to take the door off <laughs> uh, in order to get the bed in here because it's very big. But everything's in. Uh, we still have, there's a few random things left back at my old house. Uh, a couple of lamps, a bin, the printer, a couple of random things, but my dad's going to bring those up tomorrow. And ever, otherwise, everything else is in here. I obviously still need to unpack it, <laughs> but it's in the house and everyone is just about heading off now. However, uh, the day is still nowhere near done. I haven't got the slightest idea what time it is. I think it's somewhere around four, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Um, we still need to uh, go and do a big Tesco shop 
Uh, Tesco is about five miles from here, so we need to go to Tesco, do a massive shop so we can stock the freezer and everything so that I don't have to go food shopping later in the week. Uh, we then need to eat. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. Um, and then we need to get to the hotel and, well, there, there are a few more things we could do here, but I'm not sure if we're going to get time to do those tonight. So, yeah, and I'm not sure what order we're going to do those things in. I don't know if we're going to eat first and then go Tesco shopping, or if we're going to go shopping first and then eat. Not sure, but we'll see once everyone is off. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where we're at. Still very stressed. Uh, I'm wearing my coat inside because I'm actually cold. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm not sure what we're doing next, but you'll see, I guess. <laughs> tired. It is Monday the 18th of April. Uh, it is quarter past eight in the morning. Um, I am in my new home. You can just about see the very large stack of boxes behind me. I will show you that in more detail in a minute. Um, but yeah, the, the gist is, is that I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I don't actually remember how much I filmed yesterday. I don't think I filmed very much, but basically I uh, woke up at the hotel, ate breakfast, came back here, uh, unpacked the kitchen and stuff. Then I had to lie down for several hours because I was incredibly fatigued. Um, yeah, all of the packing boxes and moving has finally caught up with me. Um, and I'm still feeling very fatigued this morning. Not quite as bad as I was yesterday, but yeah, I was very fatigued yesterday. Uh, my dad got round here at about midday because he had set up the computer and the desk, which I'm now filming on, so obviously that got set up. Um, and, you know, like the TV and just some other stuff that we needed him for. Um, and then both of my parents left and I'm here by myself now. I did take a bath though, because uh, in this place, my water is included in my rent, so I don't pay for water. So I can have as many baths as I like and I don't have to worry about paying for it. So yeah, that's where we are. No idea what I'm really gonna be doing today. Um, I don't have any internet yet. That is coming tomorrow. Uh, cause, well, because we moved over the Easter weekend, basically nothing is available right now. So it's Easter Monday, which is very annoying. So it's being the box or whatever is being delivered tomorrow. And then I have to install it. You can pay to get them to install it, but I don't, Honestly, it doesn't really have anything to do with the money of paying extra. I just don't want anyone in my house. <laughs> so I'm going to do it myself, which hopefully shouldn't be a problem because, you know, it's kind of, it's designed for the lowest common denominator and therefore it's easy. Um, so yeah, I've got to be up to receive that. It could come at any time tomorrow. So yeah, that'll be delivered. I'll install the internet. But for now, for today, I don't have any internet. Which isn't necessarily a huge problem because, I mean, really the only way it affects me is that I can't scroll through Instagram or watch videos, but I've got other things to do, so not a big deal. Um, and then on Thursday, uh, we are having a whole load of furniture delivered because, well, I've ordered two more bookcases, a sofa bed, uh, it's just a small one so that my mum will have somewhere to sleep if she comes over, um, or anyone else, but don't know why anyone else would ever come over <laughs> um and are those the only things from I think those are the only things from Ikea and then also on the same day we're having another delivery from Dunelm uh with a table and a bedside table <laughs> um so that's going to be interested interesting both of those could come from anywhere from seven in the morning to seven at night they could come at the same time <laughs> um and then on Friday Providing everything is actually delivered on Thursday, my parents are coming back up to help me build the furniture. And then once that's done, I should be all good to go. 
because for now I'm kind of limited on what I can and can't unpack because I need to leave some of it so like I can't unpack the bookshelves right now because all the books and then put them on the bookshelves because I'm getting two new bookshelves so I need to wait and not put anything on them so that we can move the current bookshelves around if we need to. I also have no idea where the sofa is going to be going when it gets here because it needs to go over there but there's currently boxes stacked over there so I think I need to clear some of the boxes so I can move them over here so that they can put the sofa there when it arrives uh hopefully that'll work i don't know and i also the table is going in the room behind you <laughs> um but currently there's a whole lot of black sacks and stuff there so we need to clear that so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do today but for now let me give you a tour of how the house is currently looking so this is my desk please do ignore that uh that was breakfast <laughs> and then yeah, this is the grand stack of boxes. I've already unpacked a few of them. Um, yeah, got quite a few to unpack. <laughs> uh, these curtains will also be changing, but we're going to do that on Friday when my parents are back down because we couldn't reach them because of the boxes. <laughs> um, we've also got all of this crap over here as well. Uh, the kitchen is actually fairly, uh, pretty much done, honestly. Uh, I mean, I've still got to unpack the meds, uh, and obviously you can see I've been using it, but yeah, the kitchen is pretty much done, um, which is nice. Uh, I also need to move those things, so do ignore that, but yeah, I'll obviously give you a full house tour when I get round to that, but for now, um, yeah, I mean, obviously the kitchen's pretty put together, but <laughs> uh, this room, not so much. Let me just uh, turn the light on, although it doesn't really do much. Uh, yeah, these are all the black sacks that are filled with like cushions and blankets and stuff. The suitcases have all of my clothes in them. We've got a few random bits here. The treadmill <laughs> lamps. Uh, my chair's just in the middle of the room right now. And those are the bookshelves. Um, also some boxes of books. That's not even all of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically I'm getting a corner bookshelf for here. And then also just another one of these to go there. But we're not sure quite how much space the corner one will take up. I mean, we can measure it, but there's like, you can't really see, but there's pipes along the wall. So it's a bit more complicated measuring it. So we need to be able to move these that way uh, before I put any books on them. Um, and then, I mean, the bathroom is pretty much done as well. There's not really anything in here, just, you know, toilet roll, like a normal bathroom. We've got rugs and stuff down here. And then my bedroom is also quite a mess at the moment. Um, because, you know, obviously I've been using it. My bed's pretty much set up. Uh, I haven't got anything in the drawers under the bed. This bedside table is getting switched out. I've ordered a new one. So this one will probably go in this cupboard. And it will become storage instead. I built this yesterday. Uh, which is just a clothes rack. Because uh, I haven't got anywhere to hang my clothes in this house. So I bought a clothes rail. Uh, which is actually surprisingly more difficult to build than I thought it would be. But... Hey, I figured it out. Um, we've got, you know, a chest of drawers, which I think I'm going to try and fill these today. So I'm going to try and unpack all of my clothes from the suitcases and put them in there. Uh, this tool drawers is not staying here. That is going to go in this room <laughs> uh, over in that corner. Uh, but obviously there's stuff in that corner right now. So <laughs> can't really do that right now. Um, and then, yeah, I just I need to move all of this crap as well. But... Yeah, that's how it's looking right now. So yeah, that's where I am at the moment. I think, um, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to start with the clothes because that's pretty much the only thing I can do. I mean, I could unpack the drawers under the bed, but I have no idea which box those are in. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start with the clothes, which will clear up space in the library room so that I can then move stuff into that so that I can then get to other things. I think that makes the most sense. Um, although actually I've just realized that I built the clothes rail so that I could unpack the clothes, except in order to hang the clothes, I need clothes hangers, which are in one of these boxes. <laughs> and I don't know which one. So that was kind of, yeah. Should have thought about that. Oh well, we'll see how far I get with the clothes. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just gonna 
pretty much go with the clothes and just get started. Um, I haven't got anything else to be doing, so. So that did not go as planned. It is Tuesday now. <laughs> Um, and I have made exactly zero progress from where I was yesterday uh, because, well, I literally, I'd set the camera up, I just hit record. I was like two steps away from next door to go and get suitcases when suddenly one of the he worst headaches of my life hit me all at once. Um, and thus I spent all morning sleeping. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, I was also feeling really sick and really dizzy for some reason um, after I eventually woke up at midday. And thus, nothing got done. <laughs> Clearly, I was even more fatigued than I had realised. Um, yeah, and that was very clearly my body's way of telling me, uh, I think the fuck not, <laughs> when I was, you know, going to go and do things yesterday. And uh, message received, loud and clear. So yeah, I spent yesterday, I did some crochet and I did a lot of sleeping. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to sleep last night because of, you know, the fact that I slept all morning, but no cog straight out at eight and only just woke up at 6 a.m. So clearly I was more tired than I thought, <laughs> but that's fine. So I think I mentioned briefly yesterday that uh, the internet is being delivered today. I don't know what time that's gonna be delivered. I think it can be delivered anywhere from like now and like 7 p.m or something uh they said they're gonna text me with my two hour time slot so we'll see when that is but for now i've had some breakfast i am going to attempt to do what i was trying to do yesterday <laughs> which was empty the clothes out of the suitcases i wasn't even planning to put them in the drawers i just wanted to get them out of the suitcases and kind of put them in, you know, like fold them into piles so that when I was feeling better, I could then put them away. Uh, but clearly that was too much. <laughs> um, so yeah, never mind. Uh, I also now have uh, like a four hour video of me sleeping, <laughs> which is interesting because I'd already hit record because uh, I was literally like halfway to go and get the damn suitcases when the headache hit. Um, and so, you know, I mean, and it was like, it was zero to a hundred, well, uh, more like 20 to a hundred because I haven't been at zero percent headache since I was like nine. Um, so, you know, uh, but yeah, it was just, it was all at once, which is rare. Usually it kind of, you know, even if it happens fairly quickly over a course of a few minutes, it, it crescendos a bit and it gets worse, but no, that was, immediate like yeah I think the fuck not why don't you sit down <laughs> um and yeah I'd already hit record because I was on the way to go get the damn suitcases um and then I just kind of you know I, I had to unpack the damn painkillers I had to find them <laughs> and then I just collapsed in bed and did not turn the camera off so I now have four hours of footage of me sleeping and I think it only stopped recording because it was out of uh it was out of memory <laughs> um so yeah, do you guys want a video of me sleeping for four hours? Is is that fun? <laughs> it could be fun because I do actually talk in my sleep a lot, but hey. <laughs> so yeah, not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but yeah, for the time being, um, I need to just tidy up the floor in here and then I'm going to actually try and get the suitcases and try and sort them out like I had intended to yesterday. But we'll see how that goes today. <laughs>
Monday the 25th. Uh, it's already 1 p.m. I didn't wake up until 9 a.m. this morning, which is very bad for me. Uh, so I'm a little bit out of sorts. Um, but yeah, it's Monday. I had intended to finish and edit and upload this vlog yesterday. However, it didn't happen because I wasn't able to transfer the footage via my usual method, which because I moved house, my IP address has changed and stuff, which meant I had to upload it just via Synology Drive, um, which is just like OneDrive essentially. Uh, but that of course means that it's constantly having to, you know, upload and obviously I'm not there and so therefore it's, you know, it just takes like 10 times longer and also it just like in every single batch of stuff I upload it always like at least one file fails to upload for no reason and then I upload it separately and it's fine so it's been taking a lot longer so I'm hoping to I mean like I've been uploading videos from this phone all morning and I've only I've like only got halfway through the footage so yeah <laughs> it's yeah I'm hoping to uh have it all uploaded by the end of today and then I can edit it and get it up for Wednesday instead. Uh, but I realised before I do that, I needed to end the vlog. Because I was going to do that yesterday. But then I spent all of yesterday trying to get the phone to work. So, yeah. <laughs> However, before I end the vlog, I thought I would give you a little bit of an update. And also a little bit of a tour of how the house is looking at the moment. Because it's not, uh, not in the best state at the moment. So, yeah, let's have a look around, shall we? <laughs> so, the front room is still looking like this i mean we have we have cleared some space here um also you can see my sofa is up and ready thankfully we did not have to build this uh this is a sofa bed which i got purely so that when my mum comes to stay uh, or anyone else i guess but like really who else is going to come and stay <laughs> um she has somewhere to sleep so yeah that's what that's for and that's just going to stay there uh currently it's being used as storage though uh we have more stuff down here these are books so they need to go in the other room which is why i've got them out uh and yeah needs to say this room is a mess <laughs> uh the kitchen is in just as much of a bad state as you can see i uh, i'll explain the rocks on the floor and the counter in a minute but yeah we'll just, just move on shall we <laughs> and then i mean this hallway is also very messy the library uh, I need to turn the lights on actually. I genuinely don't realise I'm sitting in the dark until I start filming. Uh, but yeah, you can see I have all of the books. Well, not all of them. <laughs> but like 70% of the books are unpacked. This is what I was doing yesterday in between trying to get my phone to work. More on here, more on here. You can see I now have new bookshelves as well, which we built on Friday. <laughs> Friday? Yeah, I think Friday. Uh, folded up some boxes and yeah. I mean, I've still got, these are all like pillows and cushions and stuff that I need to, I mean, I could just empty them out of the bags, but I really need to put them in my bedroom, <laughs> which is in here, which is kind of, uh, you can see I've got a few down there, but this is kind of the only room that's put together. I mean, I've got a few things down here, but I kind of don't want to mess the room up because it's the only bit that isn't complete chaos. <laughs> So I'm kind of, yeah. So yeah, that's what the place is looking like at the moment. But uh, let's go and sit down. Let's go and sit down in the library, shall we? Uh, because I love the library. Um, and yeah, I'll update you on the last few days. So not the best background yet, but this will be kind of my background for filming, like more sit down videos, I think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet, but I just kind of want to get all the books out first before I start putting them on the shelves. And yeah, so let's talk about the last week. If I had to sum it up in one word, it would be frustrating <laughs> because although I've moved and the moving, the actual moving process went exactly as planned, it was fine. It was stressful, but it was fine. Uh, we got everything over here in one piece and that's all good. But it, it really tired me out. And I knew this was gonna be the case, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating, you know? And I kind of just wanted to talk about that because you know, I'm 19 and yeah, I still, you know, I can't, I like, I didn't even do much of the work if I'm being honest, you know, I helped stack the boxes in the living room, oh, living room, <laughs> um, but you know, it was my dad and my granddad doing the bulk of the work and even that, you know, I was 
in agony afterwards and you guys know earlier in the vlog it all hit me the day after and um, those are all symptoms of fatigue. I have chronic fatigue syndrome and you know it means my head hurts uh, which it just makes my already chronic headaches even worse. <laughs> uh, I have really bad acid reflux, I uh, I get dizzy, nauseous, so I can't eat, which then makes everything else worse. Uh, I can't sleep even though I'm exhausted. And, you know, as well as just feeling fatigued. But yeah, and so it, it really flared up my chronic fatigue, which I knew was going to be the case. But it's still incredibly frustrating. You know, I, I'm 19, I shouldn't be, you know, fatigued after just lifting a few boxes. But I am, and that's my reality, which is frustrating for lack of a better word so yeah needless to say i have not been feeling great the last week because i've been dealing with you know being in agony feeling sick dizzy all of that um but yeah i mean i can deal with that it's mostly just that i'm annoyed because i can't do things and i want to do things but my body is like no and i mean i'm starting to feel a little bit better but obviously i'm still trying to unpack so you know, any progress I make, I kind of immediately undo it by doing stuff. Uh, but at the same time, living in all of this mess is stressing me out. So I'm trying to <laughs> find a balance between, you know, putting stuff away and tidying up as quickly as I can. So I'm not stressed about the mess anymore, but also not pushing myself too far, uh, which is a very difficult balance. So yeah, really the last week and a bit has just been spent uh trying to unpack and failing to <laughs> when my body is like yeah i think the fuck not um you know so like you can see i've unpacked a few books you know i got them out of the box and put them on the table or the shelves um and i've also unpacked the clothes um and i did the kitchen with my mum when we were first here uh but that's really all i've done um you know i've got nothing like my desk is up uh, and the computer's on it, but there's nothing in the desk drawers. I still need to sort out all the cupboards. Uh, I haven't even got all the bathroom stuff sorted out yet, just the essentials. Um, so yeah, I've still got a lot to do, but I'm going to start with the books because it, yeah, it's, it's the bulk of the stuff that is in the boxes. So if I can clear the book boxes out of the way, then I'll have more stuff to empty the other boxes. You know, I'll have then have more space. <laughs> to tip the other boxes upside down and see what's in them. Uh, so that's kind of the idea. And also it'll just be less depressed though having empty shelves, you know? So, so yeah, that is where I'm at. I'm tired and frustrated <laughs> because I can't do as much as I want to, not even close to as much as I want to. Um, but we'll get there in the end. And again, I just ask that you all bear with me while I'm trying to sort my life out. <laughs> Um, hopefully this vlog will be able to go up on Wednesday uh, after I manage to upload all of the footage. I mean, I'm not joking, it, it takes hours to upload a single video. So yeah, just bear with me on that and hopefully we'll get the transfer issue sorted soon. Um, and once everything is, you know, once I've unpacked, I've got loads of videos to film. Uh, I'm going to sit down and film the onesie review. I think I'm going to do a readathon. Uh, I've still got to edit the... <laughs> behind the scenes photo shoot video from like January or something. Um, I also have another thing to review, which uh, we'll talk about probably in the next vlog. Um, and yeah, there, there's lots more videos and then they'll, they'll obviously be, um, well, I mean, this is kind of the moving vlogs, but they'll, they'll obviously be a house tour. There'll be a bookshelf tour, uh, which is obviously gonna be even more interesting this time. Uh, you guys love the bookshelf tour. <laughs> uh, there's gonna be uh, probably like a exploring Norwich for the first time kind of video and yeah there's gonna be lots of videos but just bear with me for another week or two while I try and sort this out <laughs> but yeah for now I'm gonna end this vlog here so I hope you enjoyed the video I know it's been a little bit all over the place um kind of not much talking and also not that much b-roll if I'm being honest because I just I haven't been doing much in big enough sections of time you know because I've been so fatigued it's like I do something for five minutes and then I lie down for 30 minutes and then I continue for five minutes and lie down for another 30 minutes which doesn't make very good b-roll so it sorry but <laughs> it is what it is but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video like it if you did comment down below um tell me you know if you've ever moved house how do you manage it um you know if you also have autism or any kind of chronic illness like I do 
uh leave any tips you have for dealing with that um because i could kind of use them right now um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next video